The following four problems are examples of taking the power of a power. We'll also be doing stuff with um, the product of powers also, but mainly powers of powers. So in the first one, the way you do this is it's multiplication. You're going to multiply that 4 times the 2 and times the 1. Okay, that, that, that's our rule. You, whatever's outside the parentheses gets multiplied by both things inside the parentheses, both powers inside the parentheses, not numbers. So x to the second to the fourth, you multiply the exponents, so it's to the eighth. And then you got to remember that y is like y to the first, and so you multiply 1 times 4 to get 4. The same thing on this next one. 3 is like 3 to the first, and so when you raise that whole thing to the third, you got to multiply 1 times 3 to get 3 to the third, and then you got to multiply 4 times 3 to get y to the twelfth. Now you should evaluate 3 to the third and get it as 27, and that leaves you with the answer of 27y to the twelfth. This one, again, it's the same as before, 2 to the first, so we're going to do 2 uh, to the third, because 1 times 3 is 3, and then x to the sixth, because 2 times 3 is 6, and then y to the ninth, because 3 times 3 is 9. Now you should evaluate 2 to the third, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. The last one, you need to evaluate all three by themselves first. So we need to do 8 to the third to the zero. First. Well, 8 to the third to the 0 would be, th you need to multiply the 3 times the 0 because the 0 is outside the parentheses. You're raising 8 to the third to the 0 power. Well, 3 times 0 is 0, and so you're left with 8 to the 0. And then you need to do um, th the, all three of those things to the third power, so negative 4 to the third power. We're going to put that in parentheses because of the negative. A to the second to the third, so 2 times 3 is 6, and then B to the first, which was 1 times 3, which would be 3. And then and the net last one, it's going to be a to the negative 2 to the second, so you multiply negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And then b to the third to the second is 3 times 2, which is 6. Now let's go through and evaluate what we can. Well, a to the 0 is just 1, so that goes away. And then negative 4 to the third is negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, which is negative 64. Then um, we can rewrite, let's go ahead and write everything else down. Now we need to add up the other ones, because now we've got just multiplication. So using our product of powers, well, a to the sixth uh, times a to the negative fourth, well, you add six plus negative four. So it would be a uh, six plus negative four, which is two. And then the b, you add three and six, which is nine. So you end up with a to the second, b to the ninth. And that is the simplified answer to that problem.